We're okay. It's just a it's just a 200 BX. We should be okay. Oh god, get away from me. No, it's not gonna end like this. <laughs> no, the drive shaft broke. Well, that sucked. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some scenarios. We haven't actually done any scenarios for quite a while because really, there isn't that many available. But there has been a influx of scenarios lately, so I wanted to try them out and a couple of them actually involve being chased. So I'm actually pretty excited, but the first one we're actually gonna try is, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? I have so many of these. I I don't even know if I've even played all of these, so can I find it? It's somewhere around here. Ah, here we go. The first one we're doing is called Fruit Delivery. It says you own a produce business and somebody has placed an order. Your job is to fulfill this order by any means necessary. And uh, supposedly this is pretty taxing on the old computer, so we might get a little bit of, you know, crappy frame rates. But, you know, that's okay. We're going to try it anyway, and if it's really bad, we can always go to the light. Edition that thread ripper can't come soon enough. I'm telling you Alrighty, so here we go It says somebody in the remote area of East Coast USA has ordered some of your grade-a produce Okay, some of us some is an understatement the order is a whopping nine crates of your produce because of this You'll be taking your utility trailer and your gavril roamer to conquer the trails you need to travel Timson hits, there is a trailer behind you, hitch it first, of course. Try not to go too fast, the crates are brittle. Breaking any crate will cause you to fail. Some roads are quite rough, watch out for those. Uh, there's been a recent storm, so many roads are closed off. Orange glad I gave you tips. Oh, come on, man. Anyway, you have five minutes or it's free, good luck. So, I imagine we're going, oh man, yeah, the frame rates are not the best. But I think we're gonna be okay, so let's just connect these. Are we good? Yes, we're good. So we have a trailer for full of oranges and apples by the look of it And we have to go basically across the entire map in five minutes But the challenge here is that we can't uh, we can't go too fast or we're gonna break all the produce which is just Flailing around you would think you would find you would compartmentize compartment. I don't think that's a word make compartments in your tray so they're not just sloshing around which could easily break the crates because they are destructible they are a phys physics object that's probably why we're getting uh, really crappy frames right now but you know we're just gonna deal with it I hope it's not too harsh on the eyes and we're just gonna take it fast but steady I think that's the only way you can do this and, and come out alive on the other side to be completely honest but yeah it would be nice if we could uh, do this on the first try because I have some other Scenarios that I also wanted to try out. Whoa! Okay. Okay, are we going too fast? Oh, it's getting a little bit loose, but we're okay. We got this down. I'm wondering if we're gonna end up going off road though, because it did say some of the uh, track does get a little uh, bumpy, to say the least. And that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about just oranges and apples and other fruits flying all over the place. Why does he even need this many fruits and vegetables at, at once? Anyway, is he like a? Does he have like a? I don't know, like a McDonald's? No, it wouldn't be a McDonald's. Some sort of restaurant, like some sort of vegan restaurant that just sell, that just has a bunch of this stuff. That's what we're gonna say. Not the best lore in the world, but I had to kept come up with it off the top of my head. Oh yeah, now we're getting onto the back roads. So it might get a little bit hairy, but we, I don't think we've lost one piece of fruit, which is nice, but I feel like we're gonna have to go off road eventually because it did say that a lot of the main roads were closed off due to a storm but I think we're making pretty damn good time we're two minutes in and we're already halfway through so if all these are spaced evenly we should we should beat this by four or five minutes with a minute to spare so that's that's pretty good I, I should do this for a living what am I doing YouTube for I should just deliver produce to people you know I probably wouldn't make as good of a money as good of money but you know I'm good at it so I mean that's always a plan B if YouTube falls under you know what I mean oh god oh god stuff is breaking Oh no, is it gonna fail me? No, it didn't fail me yet. Why did that break though? Oh no, that, that makes me nervous. And we're going off road, shoot. Okay, we need to be very, very careful because we are off road now. So if we hit one bad bump, it's gonna send fruits and vegetables flying through the air and we do not want that. So let's just keep it steady. I think I like the pace we're at. I'm not worried about, um, 
getting there on time. I mean, I am worried about getting there on time, but for right now, it seems like we're doing pretty good. But one of those, two of those crates are broken. It said if any of them broke, that I would fail, but it hasn't failed us yet, so... Uh, I can't deal with these frame rates either, man. They're just atrocious! But I guess it does have a lot of physics objects at once, so it does make sense. Come on, it's an- I have an i7 processor, like, top of the line. It should be- it should be able to handle this. I guess there is some faults and some room- some room for improvement on, uh, BMNG's kind of, uh, I don't know. Rendering. Yeah, that's the word. Oh god, this is downhill. Oh, okay, take it slow. Take it slow. It's getting hairy now. Oh shit. Okay, are we taking a right here? I believe so. Yes, we are. Okay, so I think this is it. Did we make it? I mean, yeah, holy hell. Okay, we did that really fast. Can we- will we be okay if we, like, run into this? <laughs> uh, is that it? Yes! Alright, so that was actually a lot easier than I thought. You know what I want to do, though? I just want to go batshit crazy and just go as fast as we can and, like, wrap ourselves around a tree. Just cause, just cause I want to see the fruit fly everywhere, you know what I mean? Alright, so we are connected, and I- I- I almost want to just, like, hold down the accelerator and not let go. But I want to get to like an open field where it's easy where I can where I can easily wrap my car around a tree and just send and just send fruit flying everywhere, you know what I mean? Or we could just do it down Main Street. I think I missed a checkpoint. Uh-oh. Well, it doesn't matter now. We're going to crash this thing anyway, so should we just whip it? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, here we go. And <laughs> I mean I mean, yeah. Not that sup- not super satisfying, but we did send apples and stuff flying everywhere, so you know what? <laughs> and we totaled the car, so you know what? I'm happy with that. Although we are definitely fired. Oh well. Alright, so the next one we're gonna try is called Mark Man 2. It says you need to escape with your crate while the cops hunt you down. So this is a police chase across Utah, it looks like, so it's probably gonna be quite the drive. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Let's do it. Alrighty, and we're in. So it says, the wooden crate contains illegal weapons and you're bringing to a buyer. The police found out about this deal and, and are converging on your location. They will do anything to stop you. Escape out of Utah without destroying your D-Series. Make sure you don't lose the crate or you will fail. Watch out as the cops are trying to wreck you. So we are going literally across the entire map of Utah, which is probably one of the biggest maps in the game, if not the biggest. Alright, so tips and tricks. Look out for the checkpoint to guide you to the escape tunnel. Four police officers are chasing you down. If you wreck them, you can safely escape. You have ten minutes. Good luck. Okay, so we have a time limit, and we're getting chased by the cops, and we have to balance this crate full of weapons on our truck. Now, I believe this is probably going to be the fastest way to go, and thankfully the crate laid itself flat. And I- uh-oh. Uh-oh, I already see a copper. Oh, no. Okay, how are we gonna... Should we zigzag him? Whoa. Oh! We're okay. We're okay. It's just a... It's just a 200 BX. We should be okay. Oh, God. Get away from me. No! It's not gonna end like this. <laughs> no, the drive shaft broke. Well, that sucked. All right, we got this. Please knock that down back into the truck bed, please. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, there it goes. All right, so how the hell are we supposed to juke this guy? Because the D-Series is not the most agile vehicle in the Beam and G world, so... Uh, oh, there we go. We did it, though. It wasn't actually that hard. So it does say there's four policemen. Uh-oh, I see somebody up on the ridge. Uh-oh, it looks a little bit bigger, too. Oh, I think it's a Roamer. Or is it another D-Series? I can't tell. Whatever it is, it's coming right for me head on. So let's see if we can just do a nice little juke. There we go. <laughs> oh, get out of here, man. All right, so there's. I guess they're probably just going to be on this road. I guess this is the fastest, the fastest way to get there. So as long as we can drive, you know, pretty straight and not fall off the cliff one, and get or get caught by the cops. I don't think they have the capacity to use spike strips. Although that would be an awesome addition to this mod is if, if they just like laid spike strips randomly in our, our path. That would add really add to the whoa. The immersion, but anyway, as long as we can do this at a reasonable speed, I think this should be a piece of cake. Now, I haven't seen any other cops. I wonder if they're just waiting for me. And, uh, can, can I see these guys in the mirror? Uh, no, I can't because the crate. Okay, so I'm not gonna risk turning the camera around, so I'm just gonna assume they're right behind me at all times. It'll keep me on my toes. 
And uh, but we can't we can't go too fast because if we we are very top heavy right now. So if we go too fast, this crate full of weapons is gonna be off the cliff, and whoever I'm delivering them to is probably just gonna execute me on sight. <laughs> Which well, that got really dark out of nowhere. But I'm just I just, it helps me with this game when we do have scenarios to just kind of add to the lore, make up my own lore if it's not there, just so I can get more into the story. I don't know if you guys do that. I, I'm sorry if you had like a better idea of what would actually be going on here. You have to listen to my crappy story, but I like it. So I'm just gonna imagine that if we drop this crate, we are as good as dead. You know what I mean? I don't hear any other engines. I don't hear any other cars, so I guess, I guess I have them beat by quite a while. Yeah, I don't see anybody behind me. Okay, don't, don't do that, because if I do that, we're, our tires are gonna be popped, and if that happens, we are screwed. But I do believe we are going the right way. Now, there should be, if I remember this map correctly, there should be a dirt path around here somewhere. Yes, there it is. I, I hope that this is going to take me the right direction, but this is a more perilous path, so we do need to be extra careful here. So, let's just keep it steady. We do have a D-series, though, so we should be A-OK -okay off-road. Now, this is the kind of missions I wanted for BMG Drive. I know that's one of the things they wanted to do with this game was add delivery missions, but now we're delivering weapons to God knows who and uh, with the threat of the police on our tail. I love it, guys. I know it might look a little bit boring on the surface. Not a lot of explosions and crashes that you guys are used to seeing on this channel, but I like kind of slowing down every once in a while and just doing stuff like this. But if, yeah, if you guys want to see more stuff like this and just, you know, more of this simulator, uh oh more of the simulator aspects of this game, let me know down below and hit that like button as well. It really helps me out. But yeah, I think we are going, I hope we're going the right way. We have to go to the tunnels. Now, the, the major highway is right over there, so I do believe we are going the right way. You know what would be awesome if all those cops uh, fell off the cliff trying to chase me and I didn't have to worry about them? Now, I haven't actually seen the other two cops, which are supposedly out here somewhere. Maybe they were the other way because, you know, you could just go around the other way on this map, so I think either they're gonna, like, come up on me, at me out of nowhere, or I'm just never gonna see anything. I hope it's the latter, but something tells me. I just have, like, a bad feeling that they're just gonna show up out of nowhere. And I hope that's wrong, but just something is bothering me. It just doesn't feel right. All right, so we're already at the major highway and we have, we're not even halfway through. Well, we have five, like six, five and a half minutes left and we're already at the main highway, which does connect to the tunnel. Now, the, I don't know what side it's gonna be at. I imagine at the very edge over there. So as long as we can make it past this highway without crashing, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh no, it's right there. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was too easy, you could say. Holy hell, we did it. We escaped with the weapons and we keep we get to keep our head. And we did it under five minutes, so under half the time. I guess I'm just too damn good. But you know what? I actually want to try this again and go the other way just to see if it's going to be any different. If there's any guys that are coming from this way. I don't see anybody yet, so I guess that's good. But I feel like this probably is the long way. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, get it flat. Get it flat. Oh, no, that's not a good place to be. That's not a good place to be. Oh, shoot. Okay, you got this. Oh, no, there's another cop. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah. Okay, there. Oh, yeah, it's just the same two police cars. Okay, so we should be able to juke this guy, right? We should be fine. We did it once before. Uh-oh. We don't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yes. Oh no. Whoa. We lost our door. We're okay. Everything is fine. Why can't I get this delay flat? Come on. Get in there. No. Okay. Well, we're okay. I think we're okay. How much do these weapons weigh anyway? Wait. What the hell is in there? This thing is just. It's every time we go around a turn, it feels like my truck's gonna flip over. In that case rip off my door and front left fender. <laughs> but I don't think it actually damaged the tire, so I think we're gonna be okay. But I'm kinda curious if this is actually the faster route. Boy, I feel like I'm going the wrong way right now. I hope we're going the right way, though. You know, let's go first person. Why the hell not? It gives, it makes it more, um, more, I don't know, as, as immersive, I guess. But this is a very dangerous road, and I can't really see if the crate is about to fall over one because the mirrors kind of suck and two because I don't have a rear <laughs> don't have a mirror on my side I just have to go off this one. Oh. oh 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 god okay yeah first person 
Not very safe. I think we did get it flat though. So that's good. Are they even following me? These are the worst cops. Oh shit, he is following me. Oh god. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry. Oh, he's coming. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, this is not how I go out. We got this. We got this. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Oh man. Okay, which way, which way, which way? Uh, which way? I, oh, yeah, I think this leads to the highway. I think this might actually be a faster way. Yeah, it definitely is. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it under three minutes, I think. As long as we don't crash. As long as we don't crash or be crashed. That guy's still on my tail. I don't know how I'm gonna magically lose him when I reach the, uh, when I reach the, uh, tunnel here. But we're gonna gun it at this point. This is pretty much a straight shot. Oh, oh wow, I lost him again. Oh yeah, he's really far behind. You gotta crank that A up, that AI up, baby, or else they're just gonna, I'm just gonna leave him in the dust, cause you, you know who's, who you're dealing with. I do this for a living, I play this game for a living. I should be good at it. Although I, sh I really should be a lot better than I actually am. But yeah, this is, this is amazing. I guess going right was actually the fastest route. I don't know what I was thinking. And there we go under three yeah three minutes and 22 seconds not bad let's crash this thing <laughs> uh oh so yeah we did do it and then we immediately crashed so we're probably not gonna make it and those cops are gonna be right on my tail but we made it so i'm happy i'm very happy Alrighty guys, that's gonna about do it for this episode of beam ng drive i know it wasn't as action-packed and as destructive as uh, my usual BeamNG videos, but it's nice to just kind of sit back, relax, and actually enjoy uh, the, the the game aspect of this, and actually do delivery missions. And I guess we got some police chases in there, not really. But if you guys want to see more of this stuff, make sure to let me know down below. If you have any ideas or mod recommendations, I will be looking at the comments and I will read as many as I can. But yes, I thank you for all your guys' support, and I thank you for subscribing. Or if you haven't yet, you definitely should. But yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.